Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calmlands. Well, I can sort of do it. And yes, I know that this is hardcore, I'm supposed to be doing things a bit more realistically, but my argument here is that having to unload this myself is completely unrealistic anyway. There is nothing even close to real life in me having to go to a um, large-scale sawmill and then unload the stuff myself. Uh, how are you going to do that if you turn up with a lorry that's, you know, just uh, trailers with si sides on like this? You're just not going to be able to do it, right? So th this is absolute nonsense that would never really happen. So, therefore, I have no shame in dumping this down in the most haphazard way that I can think of, which actually... I wonder if I can do it like this. There. If I can tip it over like that... There. Then I can... I've got it tipped upside down now. This should be over and done with by this point. I want to sell all of the timber together, though. I want to put it all into the sell point. This is where I find out that actually this sell point doesn't properly work. And we can't sell the timber anyway. Okay, we'll pull that one out. He's going to put himself the right side up. Like that. I will try and just move it out of the way a second so I think next time we'll try and bring the trailer in here if, if there even is a next time and what we'll do is we will because I can't reset this trailer for whatever reason unless it's because it was hitched on ah right I'm just going to move that one back over there it's entirely possible that we can do it. Right, actually, I can activate super strength. We'll do this with super strength. Do I feel any shame for this? Nope, not in the slightest. This is the lumber yard that's doing this now. Not me. I probably should have done this to start with. But it could just be because it was hitched on to the tractor... That's why it wouldn't let me do it. It's either that or it was because it had the timber loaded onto it. It's one or the other. I should have thought of this to start with. I'd just activate my super strength and then uh, I don't need to worry about it. So, um, let me reset the super strength again. There, right. I've turned it off again now. So I can't accidentally... Uh, that, I don't want to be using super strength normally. Right, we've now got all of the timber on the ground, and we've sold it 7,936. Not quite as much as I thought it would be, so there's eight, just, well, we'll call that 8,000. 8,000 euros for the timber that we had there. Um, the mill that I want to get is 20,000. We will be able to do that. So the other thing that I was thinking of doing was selling the stuff for doing hay. So we just focus on arable crops. So we're not going to be doing hay. Because so, I was talking about um, cattle at the beginning of this sort of recording round. Um, but I don't want to do cattle, do I? I'd already talked about that and decided that actually no, cattle is probably not something that we want to do in this series. Uh, definitely not to start with because they're oh that's what happens if I say show it how do I get rid of that tag that's showing me where the baler is I don't want that uh, huh I don't want to reset you No, no, no. Baylor. I think I've actually just got to go to the green marker. The baler itself we do want to keep because we'll be wanting to bale up the straw. So that means... Um, and the rake... 
Are we gonna? No, we don't need to keep the rake. With the, the rake, we we got no need for keeping the rake, and we've got no need for keeping the hay turner. So both of those, we can take them and we can sell them again now. So we've we've used them for doing the bit of grass up here. Yes, I could use them for a bit of grass on our left, and we could do that regularly, row it up and turn it and so on. But well, actually, let's see how much money we get from these. 973. So it's about a thousand. I'm on 11,000 at the moment. Not entirely sure that'd be worth it, to be honest. No, all right, we, we'll keep them. We will keep those for now. We want to get more timber, so I've got four more trees that I can cut down. When I've cut down those four trees, it'd be really nice to have a log auto loader, but we've got what we've got at the moment. I need to get over to this marker a minute. So then it gets rid of it. It's just going to irritate me otherwise. So we will we will keep them. For now we will keep them because, I mean, it'd be like 1,200 I would guess. Um, so I get two lots of that. Uh, I got a little bit of oats there in the trailer. We're waiting on the windmill to be able to do that. There was a new windmill mod as well that has been added, but that one was also... 20,000. Um, that allows you to turn corn into flour as well, which I thought would be quite cool. But it's not something that I'm particularly concerned about on this map because I'm not planning on growing any corn yet. Um, because I don't have corn header. I, I, I've got no way of cutting that with my combine. And I don't think I need it. Not yet. We will. So if we're going to be focusing on the arable stuff. It means we're going to be wanting to get pigs at some point, and all of that means, you know, with, with pigs and, and everything, we will eventually be wanting to um, grow corn. We're going to want to grow a lot of corn, but not to start with. Right, I run up through here. This chainsaw is actually pretty good. It's got, because of the longer bar on it, it does actually do the cutting job quite a bit better. Now then, let's go to EU. If I was to use the tape measure mod, fit hand tool, switch hand tool, super strength, yeah. There is a tape measure mod, but I've just never used it. So that one's at 7.6 meters. It's probably a bit better. So what are you? 17.5. It would be 8 meters long. If I was to cut that in half, she's just going to cut the end off over here because then it'll be a light bit and then this piece here can cut in the middle. We'll try and get these slightly longer than I had them previously. So that's 178 kilos still. So you can drop down there and then I've got that one at 6.7 meters and that one at 7.6 meters. So then we'll do the same over here. We'll chop this one down. There we go. Whoa. This is a really big tree, this one is. This one's huge. We'll run all the way up here. It does... Yep. Running flat out on that, all the way up through, it does actually cut everything off. Which is pretty cool. Right, so we'll chop that bit off there, and then I'm going to cut that one there, like that. 174, that's fine. So you come up here, that's another one that goes to the hand-thrown pile. And this time, when we get over there... In order to represent the sawmill unloading the load themselves, instead of expecting us to do it, just really don't like, uh, we will just activate the super strength and chuck them off like that. It's just a much easier way of doing it. I don't know why I didn't think that to start with. Right, you are 6 meters. So this last piece here is 13 meters. So I'm looking at, what, about here, I think? That one is six, and that one's seven and a half. Okay, that's fine. And then we will go. We've got two more that we want to do. We've got this one here, and then the one behind us. So you here, I'm going to cut you this way. You know, 
fall uphill. Chop you off there. I'm not going to worry too much about removing the stumps off of these. Mainly because I don't think we're going to be needing to do anything with this little bit of land. I hope I didn't cut that in half. Alright, let's cut that one off there like that. And then chop you off. Right, are you, you're 149. Okay, let's move these two first. And then once I've done that, I will then chop up the, the bit that's left of that one. Actually, how big is this? 16 meters. I want to roughly get the halfway point. I think is about there. 7.4 and 8.7. That might be a little bit too long to comfortably move with that trailer. We sh well, I mean, we, we may be all right. And then I want to get that one. That one's only 4.8 meters as well. But then these little ones, I don't think these are going to like make a huge amount of difference to everything. And then I've got one more tree to cut, which is this one. And that's everything that is on our land. On this bit over this side of the road, we've still got some back over on our farm as well. So there's potentially more to get there. But this time we've got four trees that we're cutting here, which means that we could very well end up. Have I gone over another log? I have right there. That's all right. I'm going to... Yeah, just chop the end off. Nip the tip like that and chop you there. Right, you are 20 meters long. Case, let's cut it there. It's four and a half, so that gives me 15.7. I want to try and cut that in the middle. Go that way slightly. There, that's uh, 8.5 and 7.3. Okay, so we've now got all of the timber down on the ground. My last job is I got this one here that I need to move. So there's two logs that I want to move off of this tree. And then we can jump into the tractor and we can start loading this final lot. So can I pick you up? Yes, I can. Jump in the tractor and start loading the final group. I want to be able to take everything all at once. And I'm really hoping that we have more than 9,000. If we have more than 9,000, that would be absolutely fantastic. I'm definitely going to be wanting that rear weight this time. Because some of these branches are quite a bit bigger than the ones that we moved last time. So we get that one on. Uh, there we go. Right. Let's start with what is potentially one of the heaviest logs that we've got here. That one right there. Picks up all right. Seems to be doing okay. Big question is can I load it onto here and is it going to load in such a way that we can actually transport it properly? Ooh, I've got to be careful not doing that too much. Okay. Dump that one there. Lift. Excellent. I think that's going to be fine. As so long as we don't have the logs any further forward than that, then there won't be any kind of an issue. And also, it's going to be a bit faster loading these. So long as we don't get hung up on too many of the other ones. Yeah, this is, this is where it gets to be a bit of a problem. It's when it does things like that. That's, that's not helpful. Right, you, you go over there. You, you get out of the way a minute. Let's, let's try and load this next one. Let's try doing this one instead. I miss the stole log grab. You know the yellow one that had the straps on it as well? 
Such an awesome one that was. I loved that one. That mod was just amazing. All those straps on it, and all you had to do was like go up close to the log and then put straps around it, and you could go and gather up like four or five logs at the same time and move them, and it made such a difference to doing logging. If you're doing like a, a large amount of it, it was a really, really helpful mod. I loved that one. I thought it was amazing. This one here. Uh, no. I was just looking to see if maybe this one had straps on it or something like that. But no, it, it doesn't look like we've been blessed with anything like that. So I'm going to try and pick up two now. Because that one up there was quite a small one, it seemed like. Just do that and then bring this one over a bit there and go that way round, bring it right back, open, close and we'll just do it like this. That's a very weird way of carrying them. If it works, it's fine. It may look strange, but if it works, then it's there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it if it works. Okay, so we've got that one in, and is that next one going to release? That's the problem. Those pine ones, you sometimes you can't like let go of them properly for some reason. I don't know why it it does that but it, it sort of seems to want to hang on to them and hang on to them for dear life as, as, as though it, it really just doesn't want to relinquish the hold right this one here I want to try and balance this one Bring you there all right there we go this is quite that's another big log there it's twisting over to the side fortunately we've I mean it's good that we've got this this is one thing that I like about this series already is that we've got the bigger machines like uh, we've we've already moved to the mid stage farming so I've got a powerful tractor here this is a very powerful tractor like I mean I could in theory sell this tractor for a lot of money and we could buy a similar powered tractor, but a second-hand one. And we could buy a whole load of other machinery as well. I'm not going to do that. I don't want... Well, I don't want to do that. We may be sort of forced to by circumstance at some point. But I'm really hoping that's not going to be the case. Because uh, that's, that's, not some, that's not a way that I want to approach this. We've worked hard to build our farm up to where it is now, and I kind of feel that... Right, let's... Got that issue where the log is stuck on the fork. There we go. We've, we've built ourselves up now to the point where we've got a reasonable farm. So we've managed to save up and we've got this really good tractor that we use. And this, this is the mainstay of our farm right here. And so we wouldn't be looking to get rid of the tractor. Even if we really need money, um, the tractor is still the mainstay of the farm. And a new tractor, there's a reason that farmers will save up and buy a new tractor rather than using an old tractor um i mean yeah don't get me wrong there's plenty of farmers that use old tractors but there's a reason that you save up your money and you buy a brand new tractor because that brand new tractor is potentially going to save you a huge amount of time and money like the with it being brand new, it's more likely, it's, it's less likely to break down. Um, it's going to be, so you, you've got that reliability on it. It's also going to be stronger. It's going to be a more powerful tractor. Um, it's not got wear and tear on it. It's going to potentially be faster doing the same jobs. I and mean, even if you did get one that's 
technically the same power because the same power tractor is much older it is in theory going to be a slower machine it's going to take longer to do the same sorts of jobs not always i'm not saying this for every time but it stands to reason that you know that there are a lot of jobs that an older machine is going to take longer to do even if it's the same you know technically the same power um similar kind of um engine performance that sort of stuff still going to end up taking longer to do the same job older tractors have got slower gearboxes on them so you take longer ferrying between fields and things like that um older tractors they're just they can take longer to get anything any machine get it up to speed just just working in the field in general like that there are a lot of reasons why farmers will go for a brand new machine now i'm also really hoping that this load because a lot of these logs i've deliberately cut them quite a bit longer than we had previously the last lot were like five or six meters long and these i've got several that are about eight meters long i'm hoping that is also plus we've got the extra tree Oops, steady. i'm hoping that, that all of that combined means that our um load right here is going to exceed nine thousand euros now what i'm also going to do is i'm going to switch over to there and i'm going to lower that one down and unhitch it like that because this is quite a light log and I want to be able to catch this trailer potentially because it's now moving I knew it was going to do that right let's very very quickly do that let's not that one's fine there okay take that one off and then I can move out of the way those straps are on there. That's fine. That's really not what I wanted. <laughs> At least it hasn't sort of flipped itself over. I need to be able to catch it. I need to get in front of it and catch it. Come back! Come back! Stop! Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> it's supposed that the wheels are supposed to be chocked. That was... <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. It's a good job I managed to put that strap on before it started moving. Right. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. I need to... You, you know what? Actually, I suppose I should just go and... Let's, let's put this... Let's put this log on here. Because it's not going to move anywhere from here, is it? Let's be honest. It's, it's not going to move anywhere. So let's put this one on. And then I don't need to worry about it anymore. So that one there. Let's grab it. Pick that one up properly now. Bring it back round. And we will put it onto the trailer. Then, well, I think part of the reason it did that was because the weight of the logs has sort of tilted the trailer back ever so slightly. That would be my guess. Right. We do that. That's phase one. Now, I come over here and we go... That was the best... That was absolutely brilliant. I was not expecting to see it taking off across the field like that. Uh, so I will pick that one up there. And I'm hoping I can swing that round without hitting the trees. We can. Excellent. Okay. Let's bring you over to here. And then straps off. Straps on again. So I've got all the weight on this is sort of out the back of the trailer which isn't an ideal situation but so i suppose i should have like turned some of those logs around so that we were loading the heavy stuff up the front as well but i mean it's, it's not the end of the world we can live with this we need to drag this back up so we've got some much longer logs on here so this um 
I think we've actually got more timber on this load than we had on the last load. Because those logs, they stick out a lot more. I need to find out. We, we, we've got to find out now how much we're going to get. But we're going to have to unload. We, we, we'll just activate the super strength. That's all we'll do. The super strength is the sawmill itself doing doing the work like it's supposed to. Because it's, it's not supposed to do it any other way. I'll bring you over there and we can stop there a second. Let's get this one loaded. Last few logs here. Alright, these are not ones that are going to make much difference to the overall price, but there's still a bit of money with them and I'm not going to be doing anything else with them anyway, so they're going in as well. You up here like this. I don't have them falling off. That would be great. There. See, they're also a lot shorter. But then I can pick them up. And I'd rather these, like, it's it's quicker and easier if you can just pick them up like this. I'd rather have them in half and be able to pick them up. Because the money difference, I don't think, is worth the time of messing around with them. Let's put that one in. And last one right here. that. Okay. Right. We now have all of the timber on this trailer. I'm not sure if the timber being on the trailer is what stopped it from being seen or if it was the fact that it was hitched on to me. I'm also, if I reset it, is it going to leave the logs behind or is it going to delete the logs? Because if you reset a trailer that has got grain in it, the grain will vanish. It doesn't form a pile on the floor. You lose it. And I really don't want to lose this. So I'm sort of thinking that maybe we should just use the super strength and unload it that way. And that's the lumber yard using their machine to unload this load of logs. That seems like it would be the safest way to do this. We could just unhitch the trailer and flip it upside down like I did last time. In a rage. No, we, we won't be raging this time. No no rage. Let's, let's, let's not lose our temper again. I don't want to be setting... I need I, what well, I need to be setting. Here. I need to set a good example. So we double tap Alt like that, and that allows me to do this. So I can just move all of these over a little bit by little bit. So like I can pick that one up, bring it over here, dump it down there. So like that one. Eight. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.